Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So the other week I went to a wedding. Wedding season is here finally, I'm so excited. So I filmed a get ready with me so if you want to see how to get this look and everything then please keep watching. So I'm starting off with skincare first and I'm taking this Biosense Squalene Peptide Eye Gel and I'm getting that onto my eyes. I always feel like I have to prep my skin, especially for a big event like this. I feel like my makeup just sits so much better. Once I've got that on, I'm going to go in with a moisturiser. This is the Renav Renewing Bakushi Cream. I love this. I love the texture of this. It's quite a thick texture, so you don't need too much, but this keeps my skin hydrated all day long. If you guys don't know by now, Renava has slowly become one of my favourite skincare brands ever. So here I am with my moisturiser all on and then I can't forget SPF. So I'm taking the Live Tinted Hue Guard which is a mineral sunscreen and it is gorgeous. There's absolutely no white cast on this and it again just sits so beautifully and sinks into the skin so beautifully. So that is my skin prep all done and next up I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I've been going in with this extra primer recently and I feel like my makeup just lasts and looks so much better. This really helps kind of blur and smooth out any pores and that's definitely something that I feel like my skin has um, struggled with the older I've gotten so this I just get a little bit amount of this like a pea sized amount and smooth it over the center part of my face. Then I take my all-nighter setting spray and I get this sprayed all onto my face. This I feel like acts almost like a glue, like my base and foundation and everything just sticks to my skin so well. So I'm getting a good amount of this on before moving on to foundation. For foundation I use a mixture of this NARS Sheer Glow Luminous, no, what is it called? Sheer Glow Foundation and the By Terry CC Cellular Rose Serum in the shade Sunny Flash. And I'm making a little bit of a mixture of this onto the back of my hand and just blending that into my skin. I remember picking up the NARS foundation, I think it was like last year and I forgot how good it was. So I decided to go with this for the wedding day just because I wanted a nice amount of coverage. Then I'm going in with a cream contour. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty contour, I believe this is in the shade Fair, and it's called the Tan Tour. I'm just going to get this onto the usual areas that I like to contour my face. And then again, just going to blend all of those lines out. I definitely like going in a bit more glam for events, especially if over the past like year and a half that we've all had. I feel like whenever there's an event, I'm like so down for doing like a full glam. I definitely don't wear it as full coverage as I did over like the last few years, but I feel like just a thin layer really does the trick and it still gives yourself like a really nice sculpted look. And I love the way that this contour actually blends out. It's probably one of my favorites. So next up, I'm moving on to concealer. I'm taking this NARS concealer right here and getting this onto the pointy part of my beauty blender and blending this into the usual areas that I like to brighten and conceal my face. So that's underneath my eyes, um, a little bit on my forehead and my chin as well. And I just go straight in with the beauty blender to do all of this and I feel like the finish is just so beautiful. Now that I've got all of my cream products onto my face, I'm gonna start setting everything. So I'm taking the Huda Beauty Bake Powder. I forgot what it's called, Easy Bake, 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 something like that. But I'm getting this onto all the areas that I applied that NARS concealer. And I'm gonna show you a close-up of my skin of what it looks like, because I wanna show you guys like, in reality, how it looks like when you have this much makeup on your skin. So this is what I'm working with at the moment. Loving the way that my skin still looks like skin. It's not too heavy, but yeah. Um, this is my little close-up and then I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Bronzer and I'm getting this on top of all the areas that I contoured and I literally feel like I've gone through like two of these bronzers. Now this is a huge bronzer but the fact that I've gone through two of them it um, it shows just how amazing it is. It really blends into the skin. Here I'm just kind of cleaning things up and blending things making sure everything is looking perfect before moving on to blush. I actually went in with a cream blush. This is the Pixi On The Glow blush in the shade Fleur. It is genuinely my favourite cream blush Ever. It's so, so, so gorgeous. It gives a really beautiful glow and such a nice subtle hint of pink to the cheeks. I totally forgot to spray my layers of makeup with the All Nighter Setting Spray, so I'm just going ahead and adding a good decent amount of that on before moving on to highlight. I'm taking Champagne Pop, my all-time favourite, and getting this onto all the areas that I want to have a bit of a glow, so it's the top of my cheeks, and I always run that into my brow bone as well, because then that way it's kind of like the glow doesn't start and stop 
if you know what I mean. Moving on to brows, I'm taking the pomade in a pencil from Too Faced, which is genuinely my favourite like brow product at the moment. It does not budge. So I'm getting this onto my brows. Um, nothing new here, but I just love, 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 love this product. I feel like it's smudge proof. It's like heat resistant. It is so, so, so good. I believe it's waterproof as well, which is so amazing. So it's perfect kind of product to have for something like a wedding where you just want your makeup to just not budge and stay all day long. And also it's super, super, super easy to use, which is always a plus. So once I'm happy with where all the product is and it's all blended out with the spoolie, I'm taking this airbrow and I'm setting all of my eyebrow hairs in place. And um, this step I almost forgot, but I'm so glad I didn't forget it because I feel like uh, my eyebrows don't feel complete unless I have got this step on lock. Next up, I'm taking this Stila like, cream eyeshadow and I'm popping this onto my eyelid. I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do with my eyes, but I kind of just wing it on the day. Um, and you'll see like the colours and things that I add in a second. So I'm just blending this out, making sure it's nice and um, blended into my eyes. And then I'm taking these two shades here from the Charlotte Tilbury quad palette. I'll leave a link to the exact one in the description box. But I'm just getting a mixture of those two colours and putting it on top of that cream eyeshadow. This is just going to really lock everything in place. I didn't have to do it, but I kind of wanted to change the tone slightly because my outfit had pinks and purples in it. I feel like layering the products would look really, really nice. And I'm just blending um, some bronzer into the crease. And then taking the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara, which is so incredible. I'm getting this onto my lashes. At first I felt like I wasn't going to um, wear any falsies, but I did actually add some in the end. Um, but I absolutely love this mascara. It's a clean mascara, it's vegan, it's just so beautiful. It does amazing, amazing things to my lashes. Then I'm taking the corner shade and just popping that onto my lower lash line. And this is just going to make sure that the top of my eye and the bottom of my eye is nice and balanced out. And then just blending that line away as well, just to make sure it's nice and blended into like the concealer part of my face. And once I'm done with that, it's given a bit of time for my mascara to dry, so I'm going to add some lashes. These are the wifey material lashes from Tarte Lashes. And as you can see, they're super, super like soft and fluttery. They're nothing too heavy or too crazy. And I'm just getting a little bit more mascara onto my lower lashes. And this just feels like, for me, when, like it just feels really complete, if you know what I mean. Moving on to lips, I decided to go with a red lip and I'm taking this one right here from NARS. I will leave the full name of it in the description box as well, but I'm getting this on to all my lips and I'm just so really pleased with the way that this turned out because I haven't worn a red lip in absolutely ages. And then what I did do is um, I popped a um, center parting in my hair and then I got that same shade of lipstick and popped it on as some sindur. I personally don't have any like sindur at home, so this is my little trick of what I do. And this is my one chance that I feel like I get to wear it <laughs> whenever I wear Indian clothes. And yeah, then I popped a bindi on. My outfit also had um, hints of blue in it, so I thought I'd go in with a blue bindi. And then here we have my outfit is all on, and I'm getting my jewelry on. My jewelry is all from Red Dot Jewels. They are the same company who I wore on my wedding. So I feel really nostalgic when I wear Red Dot Jewels to weddings, but they have some amazing stuff for all kinds of events. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, so these are my earrings in and then um, this is the necklace. And then I kind of felt like the earrings and everything was a bit much. So I did actually change my earrings into a stud a little bit later. Um, but here I've got my little dicker on. I've got a dicker hack which I put up onto my Instagram which I'll leave a link to below. But here I've changed my earrings up. That's so much better. But this is my outfit. It's from Aisha Rao from Nikaza Couture. It's beautiful. I got so many compliments on it. But yeah, this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you guys all in my next one. Thank you. Bye.